Hello, hello. And the heat wave spots. My kids are going back to school today. My two little ones. I feel so guilty. I've, I've put them back to school and I feel so guilty. I've put them back to school. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you doing that? It's <laughs> massive. Uh, okay. So I know you didn't ask. So I'm just going to tell you anyway. I got a massive piece of glass out of my foot yesterday. It was sharp. It was flat. It went right in. So um, I feel a little bit better on my foot. I was very grumpy yesterday because it just got worse and worse. And the thing is, though, I didn't. It didn't feel stinging when I stepped on my foot. So I'm quite surprised I didn't feel that piece of glass stuck in there. It's very grainy today. Is it grainy? Oh, it might be the sun behind. There's light coming in everywhere. We just moved this high. It's a little bit better now. Okay. Okay. So with that said, <laughs> I, I'm suspecting there's more glass, but I can't find it. I'll bump again. Okay, we're going to do sun sanitation today, which Judy and you will love. Um, so take your legs from side to side. We're going to do it nice and slow. And um, then we'll, we'll see if we're adding or not, depending on the time. Side to side, get the back loose. And back to the middle. Feet close to your bum and just do a few spinal goals. <laughs> spinal goals. I feel broken. Everything is sore. How do you feel? Okay, so can I just say? I am going to say. I told you I'm going to say. He, he said I could say last night. He's changed his mind, so I'm going to tell you anyway. So Louis built a table for our dining room. And it's amazing. So it's big enough to sit everyone now. And it's just so pretty. And we keep looking at it and sitting around it. <laughs> so uh, the superhero Louis did that yesterday while I was grumpy and didn't help anyone with anything. <laughs> up and down, up and down. And then hug in your knees. Nice big hug in. Straighten one leg out to the ceiling and take the other one to the floor. Just give it a nice big hug in. It doesn't have to be straight. You can bend in as well. Just a little bit of a pull in the hamstring. Keep the navel to spine. Ooh. You know what? If you do straighten out your legs, you are definitely going to feel yesterday's class. I feel it. I was just wondering what it was. <laughs> it's I think, I think we did some, <laughs> some hamstring stretching yesterday. So just be careful on that. You don't have to stretch it again into oblivion. <laughs> and take it to your end range. And hugging in that knee. And slide it down on the mat. Hug in the other one. And straighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> Out to the ceiling. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. I was just wondering what the hell have I done? So this is yesterday's class that you're feeling. <laughs> if you didn't do yesterday, I'm, I'm, you're probably kind of glad now. <laughs> Seeing the reaction of everyone. Ah, oh, side to side. I just want to say I didn't build it, but I just changed an existing thing. <laughs> now you build it. <laughs> He's lying. I think I'll take my I'll take my laptop camera and show you one morning. It's beautiful, but it needs to be painted, which is my job. So I have to do that today, and I'm, um, I have to choose the color. So it's my turn to work and hug it in. Both knees in and roll it up to a seated onto your hands and knees. Oh, come on, Louie. Onto your hands and knees. Push into a cat stretch, rock it forwards and back. Just get that cat working. You can you can shake it from side to side as well. When I shake it, move slowly. That's what I mean. <laughs> 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 uh, 
And he also, we also went into the lazy spa last night for the first time since my big injury. And it was so hard to be sweated. <laughs> and pushed back to a child pose. I keep forgetting the name of this one. Just kind of stretch it out a little bit from side to side. My one waist going into my spine is quite, it's quite sore. If you've got one side that's a little bit stiffer than the other side, just stretch that. Um, we're just going to flow hands and knees, tuck it as under double dog. Take your time. Stretch it out. One leg at a time. Shoulders back and down. Fingers wide open. Julian, how's your shoulder? Let, let it be known if you're there. What? I guess <laughs> that's a funny phrase. Yeah. Walk it out, walk it out. Lift up onto your toes, straighten out your back, and push it back. Your big down my door <laughs> makes me sing. Uh, walk it out, and walk it in nice and slow. Take your time, keep the legs bent, and fold over your legs. Yep, there's still glass in. Sir? Yeah, I can feel it from this angle. If you're not, I will let you know if I get another piece out. Roll it up all the way to the top. Shrug the shoulders back and relax. My head is cut off. So I will have to come out a little bit because we are going to be standing quite a bit today. Okay. Take a nice deep breath in. Tuck your toes under. Shoulders um, shrug back and go into a chair. Chair pose. Arms next to your ears. Tummy tucked in. You can rock forward a little bit to go over your toes just to stretch out your calves. You will feel that stretch. Don't lift it up. Shoulders back and down. And we're going to go all the way to the floor as your hands go down, straighten out your legs only to where you can. Don't force it, especially after yesterday. Hands to the mat. Step back on your right leg. Put the right knee down and lift up into a low lunge. And again, just come up on that back knee and tuck your toes forward. Tuck your toes forward, tuck your hips forward, and listen all the way down. Just tuck in that back toes, uh, lift up the back knee, and lift up into a high lunge. And to the mat, step it back to downward dog. Drop the heels and uh, bump to the ceiling. Tummy tucked in, shoulders locked out, forwards to plank. Hold plank. Knees down and slide into your cobra. Keep your bum lifted nice and slow. You don't have to go high into that back bend. I, mean, you're, I think you're going too high or your back is sore. Tuck your toes under down with dog. If you go in again, just go low. Okay. You just need to do this. Hold it. Stretch it. And then walk it in. Nice and slow. To the front of the mat. Keep your legs bent. And fold over your legs. Roll it up all the way to the top. Shrug the shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath in. And chair pose. Once you're in chair, rock your knees forward a little bit. 
Keep the heels down. So, uh, go all the way down and then start to straighten out your legs as you go down. Not all the way, please. Step back on your left leg, put the knee down, lift up into that low lunge, squeeze your tailbone, but make sure you're okay on your knee. Squeeze, big squeeze, squeeze that bum. All the way down, lift up your back knee, lift up into a high lunge. I'm cheating, don't look at me. I'm scared. I'm scared to put one on my foot. <laughs> All the way down, step back to downward dog. Drop your heels. Thoughts to plank, hold that plank, squeeze legs together, bum up, bum in, I mean. Knees down and slide into your cobra. Keep it low, Louis. Swings for you. Back to downward dog. Walk it out and walk it into the front of the mat. Keep your legs bent. Roll it up all the way to the top. Shrug your shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath in. Hands into your chest. So that is the basic flow. And now we're going to add to it a little bit. So it's going to stay in that flowy kind of sequence. Um, we'll just add a little bit of moves to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah, so if there's a sum of them I can't do, just forgive. <laughs> forgive and forget. Take a nice deep breath in. On, shoulders back and down. Arms next to your ears. Tailbone in. And go into your chair pose. Push forward. Over your toes. To, so you, you're stretching out this bit if you push it forward. As long as you don't pick up that leg. So squeeze it down. Squeeze it forward. And then keep that chair pose. All the way to the floor, straighten out the legs. Hold that stretch. So we're gonna go into a tabletop. Tabletop back. Keep the knees slightly bent maybe for today, just because yesterday was so tough. On the hamstrings and forward bend. And tabletop and forward bend. Hands to the mat, step back on your right knee, put the right knee down. Keep your hands on the mat, leave the right hand and twist towards the right. What's right? Left, left. Sorry, <laughs> that's confused. Bring it back. To the middle, put the, the left arm on the inside of the left foot and twist towards the right. <laughs> now you can go there. Try not to lift up this back hip, so keep squeezing it down. Back to the middle. Take that foot to the side of the mat. Leave the right hand again. You can drop that knee down if you want and twist to the same side to the left side again. Nice little back twist. I like these back twists. Bring it back. Uh, just walk that foot back to the middle. Tuck the back toe under. Keep your hands on the floor and just put that back foot down to open up into a warrior two. Warrior two. Hips open. Back leg strong. There we go. Warrior two. And we're just doing dancing warriors. So you're squeezing to the front and then going all the way to the back. 
And then from there, go all the way into side angle bows, which is another little twisty thing. You're going to slide down if you can. You, if you can't do that, if you are tilting forward when you do that, keep it elbow on, on, on knee. Lift it back up to warrior two. Straighten out that front leg. Again, uh, maybe just keep it slightly locked so that you don't injure yourself. Hips forward. A little bit lopsided because I'm not confident on my bad back foot. Slide forward and dip down. Don't go deep. Just a little bit of a dip. Lift back up. Bend that front knee. Windmill your arms all the way to the front of the mat, step back to downward dog. Hold that downward dog. Get your feet a little bit closer if you can't get your heels down, tummy in. Hold, legs strong, towards to plank. And instead of putting the knees down, we're going to go forward over our toes so that our chest goes over our arms, bend our arms in and lift up into an upward dog. Tuck the toes under, upward dog, back to downward dog. Now slowly walk it in again. Maybe get a little bit of a hip swing as you're walking in to the front of the mat. Keep the legs slightly bent, fold over your knees and roll it up all the way to the top. Shrug the shoulders back, take a nice deep breath in. Chair pose, again, push it forward. Uh, push your knees forward. I'm going, Louis, I'm going to the other side so that it's fine. So push, push it forward so that you can get that stretch in your calves. Don't lift up the heels. If you do lift it up, you know that you need a little bit more of a calf stretch in that angle. Angle, from that angle. angle. And all the way down to the floor, straighten out your legs as much as you can. Keep a slight bend. Able to spine. We're going to lift up to a tabletop. And exhale to a forward bend. Lift up to a tabletop. And exhale to a forward bend. Step back on your left leg. Put that knee down. Leave the left hand and twist towards the right. Rotate back. Put that hand on the inside of the foot and lift to the left, keeping that hip down if you can. If you want to kind of know if you're doing it, forget about the arm and rotate that hip down. Back to the floor, take that uh, right foot to the outside of the mat. Leave the left hand, you can drop that knee down and twist again to the right. And back to the middle. Walk that foot back into the middle, hands to the side of the mat. Lift up the back knee, put the back foot down and windmill your arm into warrior. Two, find your stance. Make sure everything, if it's a little bit sore in this area, we did quite a lot of internal and external rotation yesterday. Do you yeah, feel that? I really see this. Yeah, so it's, it's from yesterday's class that you're feeling this kind of Painfulness. <laughs> How else can I explain it? Okay, drop it forward and then go back into a dancing warrior. All the way back to warrior to side angle pose. If you can, drop it down a little bit, you can. And lift it back up into where it is. Straighten out that front leg a little bit and slide forward and be careful if that is 
King Sheik, keep it bent, slide and dip. Mine doesn't feel like going to do that, so I'm going to keep it bent. Lift it back up to the top and windmill your arms back to the front of the mat. Step it back to downward dog. Find your stretch. Hold your stretch. Keep those legs active, pushing those heels down. Maybe to spine forwards to plank. Legs together. And again, we're going to do, we're going to rock forward, go halfway down, tuck the toes under into upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. So from downward facing dog, we're going to lift up our right leg, tuck it into our chest, hold it there, lift up your back so that you can get that foot to the front of the mat. Put the back knee down and take that side foot to the side of the mat again and just go down as far as you can on the floor. Don't go, don't go if you, if you can't. Knee forward, foot forward. And if you've got your elbow on the floor, you can just leave the left side and twist towards the right. Keep the tummy in. And bring it back, lift it up. And step it back to downward dog. Tuck the back toe under. Step it back to downward dog. And stretch. So we're going to go forward into plank halfway down and back again without doing the upward facing dog. So it's just plank halfway down, back to plank, back to downward dog. So forwards to plank, roll forward halfway down, push it back up again, back to downward dog. Lift up your left leg and then bring it towards your chest first, hold it there. Squeeze it and lift up your back and then bring your foot to the front of the mat. Put the back knee down. Take this foot to the side of the mat and see if you can go down a little bit. Shoulders below the knees. Don't worry if you can't. It's not, it's not necessary. Especially after yesterday. Again, yesterday was quite a big hip class. Lift up. Leave the right elbow, if it's on the floor, lift up to the left. And rotate back to the, uh, to the mat. Lift it up, step it back. Two child's pose, Louis. Wiggle your bum down onto your heels and stretch. Are you okay? Yeah. Just do my reset. And just roll it up to the top of the time. Five minutes. Oh, okay. So before we finish, um, if you struggled in that that, uh, that chair pose, getting that um, that keeping the heel down, Wendy, I think you have maybe an issue with this. We've said. So if you struggled with that, this is we'll go quickly do this. Just put one foot in front of you. And then I want you to go forward over that foot and keep that heel down. Don't press too hard because you can squeeze your, um, your talus and just your ankle. <laughs> you can squeeze your ankle together, the joint. So no, no don't, don't squeeze too hard. And go forward, see if you can keep your heel down and see how far you can bring that knee forward. Now, you can put a little bit of weight on it. You can put a lot of weight on it. It doesn't matter that much. But just before we start, sometimes it pinches. Just go forward. So see how far your knees can track over your toes without lifting up your heel. You shouldn't lift it up. So Louis can't go. If that's Louis' angle. So keep that, don't push, push the heel down. Keep the heel down. Then come back. 
Now you can put a little bit of weight on that. Not a lot. Unless um, you feel your, your ankle bones squishing together, then just leave the weight. Push forward again. A little bit of body weight. Hello. 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 Yes, it's upstairs in my room. Hold that. This is a nice little stretch. Um, there's different ways to do this, but this is our option because we have a mat and push it back. Okay. Bring this leg back. Use the uh, take the other foot forward. It doesn't matter where it goes forward wise, just as long as you can track it over. If your dorsiflexion is quite bad, you won't be able to go over too far. Before you add the weight, just squeeze it forward. See how far you can go without lifting up that heel. I'll show. It's this side of the is better, isn't it? It, it? it can be. There's no specific. So this is my sore ankle. Yes. And um, I always think this one is worse, but I've been stretching it so much. I think I took it too far. <laughs> and then also, I've got my glass pinches. <laughs> Heel down. I'm just hold it a little bit because it does go. And bring it back. You can add a little bit of weight to so squeeze on that and go forward again. I'm trying to stay out of the way so that you can see. So your Achilles tendon can't stretch because it's a connective, it's a tendon, it's a connective tissue. It's there to stay together, but the soli is attached to it. And so give it a go. It's fun, isn't it? This is gonna help come back. This is gonna help your your um your alignment in your chair pose. my lower back for some reason. And Louis lower back. <laughs> so what I mean with that is you can just watch. So if you have if you go into <clears throat> A chair pose. I always say this to you: the angle between the heel and knee connection should be the same as the body. So if you have two broomsticks, it needs to go parallel, exactly parallel. Um, so if you have two broomsticks to measure it, the broomsticks can't cross at the top. So if you don't have that dorsiflexion, but you've got that forward bend, you see my angle is it's going to cross at some point. But if you go forward and you really have that stretch, you can get that angle a little bit more parallel. Can you yeah. tell? Yeah. So that is something to think about and work on. And with that said, you can just sit up on your knees. You can lean back a little bit for that quad stretch. Hopefully our hips feels a bit better tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your tummy tucked in as you stretch back. Lift it up, take a nice deep breath in, shoulders back and down, hands to your chest. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Let's see how everything feels tomorrow. I might also get another piece of glass out of my foot, which is going to help a lot <laughs> with my disability at this stage. So, Wendy, a nice little uh, dorsiflexion stretch for you because I know you've got um, – You've got that problem. It's like pleasure and pain. No, it's just pain. I thought we were going to do another sequence. I was, I was sitting there thinking, how are we going to end? And then we just ended. Oh, yeah, we didn't have time to do another sequence. I, I wanted to do the, that dorsiflexion because Mondays are usually activation Mondays. So I wanted to show you that stretch to play with a little bit if you want to play with it. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a lovely, oh, it's sunny. Have a lovely day. I'm sending my kids to school and I'm so sad. Bye.